Descriptive writing is when we write in terms of our senses. So we often call descriptive writing sensory writing. Our senses around taste, touch, sight, sound, smell, and then what we observe moving provide the listener an entry point into feeling what we feel instead of just observing us feel something that we claim is important and significant but don't really allow the other person to feel themselves. So with songwriting, painting that picture with the senses is such a powerful tool to get our listeners to feel the drama of our song. It shows the listener why this moment was so important to write about. So we can describe the most mundane moments in sensory language and suddenly they become is super important. So it's a really powerful tool for writers to get our heads around. Take that typical country song we're all familiar with. Sitting at the bar, you know, whiskey in a glass on the rocks. We see the character stir in the drink. That's sensory language. But all genres will use some degree of sensory language. And when we don't set the who, the when, and the where really clearly, what we end up seeing is the lyric tends to use moments of objects or images that kind of agree again in their color scheme, but they don't necessarily happen all in one place and they're not all happening right now. So we do see sensory language in songs all across the board. The amount of sensory language and then the way in which it is used differs from genre to genre, but it's always a good idea to try out sensory language because that's where many of our really unique lyric ideas and our ability to express ourselves uniquely as artists can really shine. When we're determining our lyric style um, and, and our, our preferences when it comes to lyrics, um, it's always a good idea to start with what feels authentic to me. You know, we hear that advice sometimes, write what you know, and I think it, it couldn't be more true. Because when you write about things you know about, you're writing with an authenticity and an ability to connect with the fans of yours who may not know you yet, but they will through what you're writing about. Um, so that's number one is be true to you. Number two, when you're trying to understand your style of lyric writing, think about similar artists who um, carry the same spirit that you do lyrically. And it could be that they fall within your genre musically, but it could also be that they've managed to take that lyrical style and make it work in another genre. So look for those who carry the same spirit that you do, the same sort of personality of lyric. And then you can look into what makes the lyric tick. So specifically things like how much imagery do they use in their lyrics? Um, from what point of view do they tend to write? Is it first person point of view or is there a lot of you, direct address, you this, you that? Or is it story songs like Randy Newman, he does this, she does that? Don't we all kind of big message type ideas? See if you can find some characteristics by which you can measure what makes those lyrics tick. When you found those artists that you can relate to, that you find you're writing in the same spirit of. And those can be some good entry points into trying to understand if you're in the ballpark of what you admire and what you really want to create. Our fans, our audiences are the best place to get feedback on your songs. The feedback often becomes nonverbal to where you can sense in the room when you're presenting your songs, performing, where they really resonate. And using that feedback um, can be tricky, but over time, it's that nonverbal and verbal feedback that hones an artist's brand and helps us to understand where we're writing that's really in our wheelhouse. 
So it's good to try different styles and different approaches uh, with our music. But when it comes to figuring out where we feel most authentic and connect with our fans and our fans are connecting with us, it's imperative that we listen to what they have to say. And we can use that feedback um, certainly from other musicians that we work with, um, which is, again, where recording our music is all part of this process of honing in on our wheelhouse and our brand and what feels most authentic to who we are. As ultimately, our fans will never lie. They will tell us where they see a connection between how we're expressing ourselves and what's really inside. So take five minutes a day and choose a place or a person or a time like midnight on New Year's Eve. And so you take this and you imagine it in your mind and don't spend too much time planning ahead, but put pen to paper or fingers to keyboard and begin to write from your senses. And it's a real stream of consciousness approach where at this point in time, you're not trying to criticize or judge or look ahead to whether or not those details would make a good song. You're just exploring all the raw detail that shows the listener this scene, brings them into the moment so that they forget about the world they're living in and enter into your own. <laughs> 